Leicester, a city in the Midlands. I give you five reasons not to move to Leicester. Number five, sports. Who can forget Leicester City winning the Premier League? That was a great moment in sports history. However, this may not happen again. The chances of them winning the title is still higher than Man United, which is fantastic. On the other hand, there are good sports facilities for kids to develop into professionals. But things are dying out. They are focusing on women's sports now, which is really needed. Young people, especially boys, don't have the opportunity anymore as they do in other cities. Rugby is a decent sport to get into, but it has a dark side. I mean, uh, in this sport, men abuse steroids to get big. It's not good for your health. Number four, innovation. Asian invasion. Leicester is diverse. It has good curry, kebab, pizza, Chinese takeouts everywhere. And you won't find a good English restaurant nearby. Ha <laughs> ha! You probably can find it if you want it so bad. But you have to go out your way and find a suitable English restaurant that serves traditional food. Most English restaurants don't know how to keep up. And every time they get out new items, hoping it will be a hit. They are always chopping and changing and hoping they can't keep up. Number three, cost of living. You can't find expensive houses. If you want to buy a million pound house, you need to move out to other areas. When you go higher up the ladder, you can't find the best of things. The council tax though, oh my God, can get high and prices seem to rise when you don't notice, which is a bit weird. Leicester's council a bit fishy. So always look at your letters carefully when you pay your bills. Number two, crisps. Some of the worst companies are headquartered in Leicester. Walker's Crisps are one of the companies. They do rubbish adverts. They hire celebrities as if they matter. Why would they get Lineker or Gordon Ramsay to advertise for them? Why not get Sadie Khan instead or Diane Abbott or Paul Chowdhury? We need some diversity, isn't it? And look at the tactics they use for marketing. Oh, the potatoes are British. Who cares? These aren't British potatoes. They are more likely to be Irish. In addition, these crisps can chip your teeth. And you have to be very careful about the ingredients. There have been a number of times where bags of crisps have been recalled. Look it up. Number one. Robbery and thefts. Thieves are everywhere. There are lots of van thefts and break-ins. Leicester ranks number one in the UK, having the most van thefts. There have been 10,494 reported crimes from 2018 to 2022. The police in Leicester are bad. They need help from the government. They need training. Leicester needs to hire more police officers. These criminals are laughing at how incompetent are the police force. At least the law should give people the rights to defend their property, like they do in America. If the police can't handle the situation, the insurance companies are having a field day and prices have gone sky high because of these crimes and Leicester should be an affordable city. But now many people are left out of pocket. It's expensive to own a van or a car now and people are needing to put trackers and alarms to make life easier for the police. It's unbelievable. And that's all folks, like, comment and subscribe, see you next time.